Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For cheap and fast coins, check out redzonecoins.com, use code ZERK for 10% off your order, and get to building that God Squad. The whole thing wobbing, what, what, wobbing, what, what, wobbing, when I come around, got the whole thing wobbing, what, what. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we're going to be trying to figure out which bundle is actually better, Game Changers or Elite Packs. We are doing both bundles for you guys today so I'd really appreciate if you guys would drop a like in the video. I've been asking you guys for 5,000 likes in every single pack opening and we're going to continue today. 5,000 likes on this video and I'll drop another bundle for you guys. I mean if you guys like to see the bundles, drop a like on the video. I will legit keep pumping out bundles every single day if you guys keep liking them if it's what you want to see drop a like in the vid now i do want to give a shout out to raspy whistle for being a part of the noti gang if you guys have a chance to be shouted out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are sub to the channel turn the notification bell on comment down below noti gang and i also just want to say seriously thank you guys for all the support i know i've been saying it like every video but i i really just can't believe it thank you guys so much for all the support this year hopefully I'm going to be honest with you guys, my goal for this year, if someone wants to like comment it down below so that way we can all keep track how many subs I have now, my goal is definitely 250,000 subscribers before the end of Madden 21. We started off Madden 20 with, I want to say 60K, and we gained 100,000 subscribers. So we're trying to see if we can gain about another 100K, 90,000 subscribers or so. 250K would be a huge milestone to me. So if you guys aren't sub to the channel, greatly appreciate it. But let's get right into these packs. We've got 10 Game Changers and 10 Elite Player Packs. Also, I'm going to let you guys know, as we start with an Elite here, and it's going to be 83 Tyron Smith. Okay, so we actually got a pretty good left tackle there. Uh, I want to let you guys know, we'll be live streaming twitch.tv slash Xerxy. I'm not exactly sure what day, but coming very, very soon, okay? It's definitely going to be within the next couple of days here, so make sure you guys follow me over on there. Subscribe to my second channel, Xerxy2, because we'll be posting some stream highlights over there, some other stuff over there as well, so definitely make sure you guys subscribe to Xerxy2, and gameplays are going to be coming out, okay? I definitely want to work on some gameplays. Barry Sanders, a ton of other players I want to get gameplays with as well, so if you guys want to get better at the game, hotroute.tips, link is in the description. Use code Zerk over there as well. Thank you guys for all the support. But next game changer pack here, we get ourselves a 75 overall chase. It's a power up George Kittle. Okay, that's got to be going for something. And we also get a 76 overall GOAT CD Lamb. Cannot wait to see him perform for my Cowboys this year. But starting off the next pack, we get an 84 Amari Cooper right off the bat. Another Cowboys player. How funny is that? That the last play, what, what, D double Cowboys here. But literally in the last pack, we ended off with a Cowboys wide receiver rookie. We start off this pack with Amari Cooper. How wild is that? Now, which one is actually better, the game changers or the elites? I'm going to be honest. I'm expecting elite player packs to be bundled because of the elites, at least you get the guaranteed elite. So we'll, we'll see, you know, we're gonna have to get like some double elite packs or something as we get 80 overall Avery Williamson, so nothing too crazy out of this one. We also get that Kai Forbath and also the Javon Kinlaw. I'll take all the rookies. I want to get that Isaiah Simmons MasterCard for sure. Uh, we get a 78 overall here, another elite. 82 Emmanuel Sanders, okay, not bad there. 79 Bradley Pinion, we get a Daniel Jones and a Marquise Brown. A bunch of speedster card right there. And there is a lot of really good speedy wide receivers in the game though. Uh, we get another gold, 77 Jared Goff. Who's this? 80 overall, Jimmy Smith. Probably not going for too much. Can we get a big elite? 82, jo what is Josh Jacobs' speed? They got it done in bad, right? Like, what, 81 speed, probably? What's, what's, what's Josh Jacobs' speed? I hope he has at least, like, 82 or 83, maybe. And, yeah, he's got 81 speed, 83 acceleration, 82 carry, 82 break tackle. So, we're six game-changer packs in. We really haven't gotten, like, anything crazy. They got, like, Amari Cooper couple of elites but no like 87 88 overall polls or anything just yet as get yourself 80 overall brandon graham we get a double elite pack though 82 overall stefan to it can we make it a triple we do and the third is 82 overall demarcus lawrence so we actually get three elites in one single pack not bad but you know kind of wish they were a little bit higher overall but that's kind of what you get with the game changer packs you get you know you might get multiple leads in fact another george kittle power up right there again i don't know how much he's going for but i think that's a pretty good pull hopping right into the next pack though again we're starting off with a gold unfortunately with one thornhill we get tri turner curtis samuel another elite 80 overall kirk cousins so you know 
Where are the big elites at, EA? We're trying We're trying to get like some, some 87, some 88 overall pulls here. We did get three elites in one pack, which is nice to see, but I need, I need some a little bit more. And that was actually it for the Game Changers. So those packs, not a good showing for the Game Changers, man. Not a good showing. Now we got the three elites in one pack, but aside from that, we did not get any like super big pulls. So I really need the elite packs to show them up. Let's get 81 overall Devontae Parker to start it off. Now, if we can somehow get a double elite pack, 84 Thomas Morstead, okay. If we can get like a double or even a triple elite pack over here with these elite player packs, I mean, it, it, it could be nice. Now, I believe that the elite packs actually do have a higher percent chance of pulling a big elite. This is a big one, I think. Okay, 82 Joel Batonio. That was a really, really good pull right there. And this is going to be an 83 overall Michael Pierce. Not bad. So we don't get three elites in one pack, but we got a 38,000 coin quick sell player. So that's actually really good. And the 83 overall Michael Pierce. I'd say so far, these elite player packs definitely lead as we get 80 overall Tyler Board right there. A power up. Joel, B really? We pulled Joel Batonio coin card and then they gave me the power for Joel Batonio. How funny is that? Hey. You want to give me a better power-up? I'll take it. You want to give me Tyree Kill? I'll definitely take it. You want to give me Bobby Wagner? Which, obviously, that was not going to be it because he didn't get a big animation there. We get Justin Coleman. Give me a double elite. Double elite. Double elite. No double elite right there. But we do get a 77 overall punter. Give me a give me an 85. I'm not asking for an 88. Just give me an 85 in this pack. Give me, like, a... I wish I knew one 85 overall player off the top of my head, but I really don't. Uh, 85 Grady Jarrett. Okay, so I literally called my pull right there. 85 overall Grady Jarrett and also a LaShawn McCoy. Next elite pack, what do we get here? We get 70 overall, 71. Who's our elite? Give me a big elite. Big elite. Big elite. 80 overall Yannick Ngakwe. He has really good pass rush, but he is so bad against the run, man. He is just absolutely terrible against the run. Give me a big elite. 76, 72. Give me a double elite pack. Actually, we're not going to get that. Man, we're also not going to get a big one. 81 Akeem Hicks, man. These toppers better come in clutch because so far, it hasn't been nothing, not, nothing too crazy. We've gotten some good pulls, but I want to I want to get something that's going to make me really, really excited. We get 80 overall J.K. Scott. That is, just kidding, not going to make me excited at all. Uh, I, I need to see 85. 86 87 maybe like an 85 86 and 87 all one pack that would definitely get me excited as you get 81 jalen smith i actually really needed that uh we get a power up here jair alexander that's probably a pretty good pull but i needed that jalen uh because i'm definitely gonna power him up i have his 85 overall from the nfl rival so that'll be really really good to help me with that at least what do we get here big one big one big one ha ah, 80 overall matthew ianitis and we ended off with the gold. So guys, the actual bundles, ah, uh, that was tough. That was real tough. I think the elite packs were better. I will say that the elite packs were definitely better, but the game changers are like a bigger risk, I feel like, because you could potentially like not even get some elites out of those packs, but it is what it is there. We're down to the two toppers, 285 plus overall pulls. EA, please be nice. Please be nice. Give me 188 overall or a coin quick sell. 87 Tyreek Hill! Let's go, man! Let's go! We got an 87 Tyreek Hill! Finally! I've been trying to get this man for so long, and we finally pulled this man! 90 speed, 82 catching, 84 jumping, 87 deep route running, 83 short. The man also has 90 acceleration, 100% not going anywhere on the team. Or, I mean, he is going on the team. He's not going anywhere. He is staying on the team. 87 Tyreek Hill from the topper. Could not be any better. But now the question is, right, which topper do we credit that to? Do we credit to the game changers or do we credit it to the elite pack bundle because we open up the game changer packs first so i guess technically that one's the game changers topper i guess there's really no way for me to tell but hey i mean i i will gladly ea trust me okay no you know if you want to slide me another 87 tyree kill or an 88 i'll take it but i'm not gonna be super mad if we get 85 here because we pulled tyree kill give me a big one though ah uh, it's gonna be bad oh no it's not 86 von miller Wow. Okay, so even the 86s don't have the big... I guess there's only 87 pluses that have the big flash. So we got Von Miller now and Tyreek Hill. Wow. What a pair of toppers. 84 block shit, 85 power move, 80 speed, 81 excel. 
the bundles were bad, okay? The bundles, well, the bundles were terrible. The bundles were not crazy, but those toppers really made up for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, and of course, hit that sub button down below. Wow, what, what, what crazy toppers. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time.